So what was your path to the Academy? Like, how did you find out about it? How did you end up here? Action. Um, I was in grad school at the time the Academy was just being formed. So I was about at the point where I'd be looking for my first teaching job. Uh, I hadn't really heard about the Academy at all. It had just been in existence a very short time. But when I heard about it, it sounded like a very interesting opportunity. The job description had said that they were seeking someone with a master's degree in mathematics, which was about I was about to complete. But they also said they wanted someone with several years of experience, which I didn't have yet. But I didn't really know any better, so I went ahead and applied and figured I'd see what would happen. Um, as it turned out, that was when the academy was going from year one to year two. So the first year they only had juniors. Those juniors became seniors, and they brought in a new group of juniors. So they were doubling in student population and needed to double in faculty. So there were three math positions open. Um, I didn't know that at the time exactly how it was all working, but I went ahead and applied. Um, as a grad assistant at Ball State at the time, I was working under the supervision of one of the math faculty members who was kind of well connected with one of the people out of Teachers College who was involved in setting up the school. So I'm sure that was useful as far as having him as one of my references. Um, but yeah, how did I end up at the Academy? I, I guess I usually tell people it was sort of providential um, that I had never heard of the Academy when I went to get my master's degree. I was going to get my master's degree to avoid reality for a couple of years. I had student taught at Yorktown High School, kind of here locally. The supervising people all thought I was doing fine with it, but I didn't like it. I didn't like teaching. I didn't feel like I had, uh, I don't know, good control over the, the students or something. So I was kind of just avoiding reality for a couple of years, trying to decide if I wanted to teach at the college level, if I wanted to do something else. Um, so I decided to go to, the, to, to grad school kind of late in the game. Um, but as it turned out, it was providential because that was one of the the job requirements uh, was to be finishing or to have a master's and that was where I was at and it worked out perfectly. Nice. All right, so which aspects of your work at the Academy have had the greatest meaning for you? Which aspects? Um, a lot of good career opportunities, I guess, in the sense that I'm gotten really involved with the AP program by being here. I've been um, an AP college board reader for several years, meaning helping to grade the exams. Um, that led to me being a consultant for the college board program. So I go and I can conduct professional development workshops for other teachers about AP calculus and what they need to, to know in order to take on AP Calc. Um, do some summer workshops, again, for the AP program. So it's uh, opened up that aspect, I guess. Um, it's been a great teaching situation because in the 20 years now that I've been here, I can't say that I've ever had a discipline problem in the classroom. And that would not be my forte, and that would not be the thing I would enjoy. If anything, like I said, when I was student teaching, I just didn't yeah, feel like I, you know, I was the 21-year-old, not really ready to handle it yet, maybe kind of person, yeah. but... And the um, students are all like, ah, student teacher, let's make their life miserable. Yeah, so that was a factor with it, but, you know, here it's just a different environment anyway. It's not like that class situation where I was teaching the general math that had seniors in it who just needed to get a math credit to graduate. It, you know, it was... Here, not every kid is a math scholar, um, but at least, I'd say, for the most part, everybody is interested in doing well in school and learning what they need to to, to move on. So um, it's nice because then you can feel like you can relax a little bit with the students. You can interact in class and not have um, the fear of losing the class, you know, if you want to be a little more relaxed, a little more fun. You can still get things back focused when you need to and keep things moving along. So 
it's just a real good environment to be teaching and so that's meant a lot to me I, that's how your question was phrased but meant a lot to me personally um it's also a unique environment speaking about interaction not only in the classroom but then outside of the classroom you know, you're just around the students a little more maybe than you are in other high school sometimes too much <laughs> no offense <laughs> to you and courtney or anyone but uh, but, you know, so just getting to know kids outside of class when they're in the office for office hours, um, working with them there through other things, you know, clubs for me, Bible study, math contests, different opportunities like that to see the students outside of class and kind of get to know them. So that's a nice plus. Um, that, that mostly covers it. Okay, I think. Um, is there anything you wish you'd known before the academy before you came to work here? There's lots of things I didn't know before I came to work here, but I'm not sure what knowing them would have would have done for me necessarily. What shocked you about it? Or surprised you even? Hmm. Well, I was coming here again with no teaching experience, so I was pretty wet behind the ears and um, new to it all. I was pretty intimidated maybe at first like oh my I'm coming to the school and all these kids are going to be like genius scary um, you know am I going to be able to hold my own am I going to be overwhelmed by this you know so I, I had like just by reading the um, course catalog and some some of the information when I came from my interview you know I, I had this impression in my mind of a little bit different situation than what I found out, okay, this is a high school, these are kids, I can, I can keep up with them, it'll be okay. Um, for most of them, at least. <laughs> um, but other shocking kinds of things, um, I don't know, I guess we used to just, as, as it was such a new school, we used to just always think, okay, one of these days we're going to get all of our policies and procedures figured out, and I think uh, the joke that we used to kind of share back and forth would be that we're going to, you know, one of these days we're going to be a real school. <laughs> we're going to grow up and we're going to be a real school and we're going to have all these policies worked out. And so, I don't know if it's shocking or not, but sometimes even now, 20 years later, it's kind of like, we, yeah, we still don't really have it figured out how to deal with this or how to deal with that. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah? All right. So... How does the social dynamic of the academy workplace compare to that of, well, I guess, you don't really have previous work experience except for student teaching, but how does it compare? The socio, what you say, the like social the, dynamic? Yeah, in the workplace. Um, yeah, I guess it is hard for me to compare because when I was at Yorktown student teaching, I was an outsider and obviously not real familiar with the other people um, here. I don't know how it compares to anywhere else, but I, I guess I, I would say that sometimes it does seem like we can be very isolated almost. Like, you know, you just get so busy doing what you're doing, you don't really know what's going on with the rest of the school, whether that's what's going on in the dorms because it's spirit week and why are these kids dressed funny? Because you know, nobody bothers to tell us. <laughs> or whether it's... Um, you know, what the other division is doing. So, if, you know, the humanities division is doing some kind of research project and, you know, that we over here in the, the little math corner of the school aren't really necessarily aware of that. So, um, communication has probably since day one been always a theme that people have talked about. We, you know, we have a, a communication problem sometimes. Not good, bad, or otherwise. or not intentional, but it just... Everybody is so engrossed and so serious and so enthusiastic about what they're doing that it's hard to sometimes stay connected with, with others. Yeah, you can see how that would happen. Yeah. Um, how do you think that having worked at the Academy will affect your future? I think I'm doomed at this point. <laughs> um, I think it would be hard to teach at another school now, so I don't know if that makes me doomed or not, but... Um, You're stuck here? I might be, because I do enjoy uh, a lot of the aspects of teaching here that would not be true at other schools, like I was saying before, as far as the in-class 
teacher-student dynamic and just being able to come in and know that the students, I, I guess I can't say that they want to be there. I, I see you guys when I walk <laughs> in, but that you're, yeah, you're, you're into the process. You understand that it's, this is okay and you're going to work with it and you're going to try and so forth. And so that's really spoiled me as a teacher. Um, and the flexibility of my schedule and the hours and all those things are a lot different than what I'd necessarily have at a regular public school as well, so it's probably on that side. All right. I am due. <laughs> well, thank you.